Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, I'll be showing you the Arlo Security Light, a wire-free, battery-powered smart light. I'm going to do the unboxing, review of the features, setup and settings, installation, testing it out, integrating the light with my Arlo Pro 2 cameras, and also setting it up with Amazon Alexa. At the end, we will try answering the question, is it worth it? So let's check out the features. By the way, this is an expensive security light, 150 bucks for one light, 250 for two lights. This is a 100% wire-free, battery-powered smart light. It is weather-resistant with an IP65 rating. It uses a rechargeable battery. It is the same battery that is used in the Arlo Pro 2. It is a smart light which uses the Arlo app to manage and automate your light from anywhere. It uses PIR motion sensor that can detect movement up to 23 feet. You will get instant push notifications to your smartphone or in your email. It is a multicolored LED light so you can select from millions of colors and the white light can have up to 400 lumens which I was really hoping that it was brighter. The lights are customizable, you can change colors, adjust intensity, or make it flash. It has a scheduling feature and can work with your Arlo cameras like to record when the light detects motion. It works with both Amazon Alexa and IFTTT integration. So let's open up the box. We have a window sticker, a quick start guide, a micro USB charging cable, a rechargeable battery, an all metal mount, a power adapter, and the Arlo light itself. Build quality is pretty good. In front, we have the LED lights. We have the sensor on the bottom part. At the back is the screw mount. And above that is the battery compartment. So lastly, we have the Arlo bridge, which is used to extend the Wi-Fi signal. Now let's set it up. Download or open up the app and click on Add Device. Scroll down and click on the Arlo Security Light. Now I'm going to pause this video here for a while to show you that this part is a bit confusing. You have three options on how to set up the light. I bought the light kit with the Arlo bridge, so normally you'll pick the top option, but when I did that to mine, it guided me to set up the bridge first, then that's it. No prompt to tell me to set up the light or to sync it to the light. So basically, it is the same setup if you chose Arlo bridge at the bottom. I still have to manually go back to this page and click Setup Security Light to sync my light to the Arlo bridge. So I click the top option and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Using your phone's camera, scan the QR code on the back of the Arlo bridge. Then plug in the bridge to an electrical outlet. Wait for a minute until the light changes to blinking amber. Press and hold the sync button for 5 seconds until the LED changes to blinking blue. Select your Wi-Fi network and type in your password. Update the firmware when prompted. This is where it stops and the bridge should be installed when you end up on the main app page. Now, it doesn't prompt you to install the light. So, you have to go back to the setup page and select Arlo Security Light. 
which will prompt you again on checking updates. Click OK. Scan the QR code of the light now which is inside the battery compartment. Put in the battery and click continue. Push the sync button for 5 seconds and wait for the blinking blue light. Then both the bridge and the ARIO light should be syncing which can take a while. Name the light and you should be done. An on and off toggle switch should now appear on the main app page. More than half of this video is just for setting up this light. And that is with speeding up on the video editing. It took me around 15 to 20 minutes to initially set this up which includes updating the firmware and trying to figure out the sequence of steps, which can be confusing. Now let's turn it on. Pretty decent light, but it is only 400 lumens. I have a feeling this is not enough light to change the Arlo camera's mode to color, which I'm hoping this light will do. We will see later on. Now let's check the settings. Click the gear icon to go to the light settings, which shows the name, battery, and connection. We can change the brightness, the color, which we can also select single, color or multicolor. And we can edit and choose a color on a color palette which basically can change it to any color that you want. If you choose multicolor, let's see what it will look like. Cool. So it will toggle between different colors. It's nice. But why would I do that for a security light? To make the bad guy stop and stare in amazement? Hmm. Anyways. So we have the flash option which you can choose between slow or fast flashes. Let's check out the fast one. Cool. I thought it would be more of a strobe like. Then we have the light duration which you can set how long the light will turn on. From 5 minutes to always on. Remember guys this is a battery powered so the shorter the better. Then we have the motion detection test where you can set the sensitivity of the PRR motion sensor just like the cameras. Also a range finder test so that you can find the best placement for the light and the bridge and making sure they have a strong connection. If you go to mode on the bottom you can change the mode of the light. You can arm, disarm, schedule and also there is geofencing options. On the arm mode, you can change the settings by clicking on the little pencil icon. You can set it to send you an alert and turn on the light when it senses motion. If you have the Arlo cameras, you can add them to the rule settings, like if you want it to record also when the light senses motion. This is a nice feature and you can customize the cameras to record even if they were not triggered. You can change the recording rule to record until the motion stops or specify how many seconds to record when triggered by the light.
setting up with Amazon Alexa is pretty easy. Just go to the Alexa app, choose Skills, and search for Arlo. Click Enable, and you have to link up your Arlo account with Amazon Alexa. So type in your email and password. Click Allow, and you need to search for new devices. and the Arlo light and the cameras should show up. With the Arlo light, you should be able to control from the Alexa app. Or you can use voice control. Alexa, turn on Arlo light. Alexa, turn off Arlo light. Okay. Time for installation, which is pretty quick and easy. You can install the light with the included mount either in a wall or a ceiling. Now, it is time to test the lights features and also will test the video footage with the lights on with my Arlo Pro 2 camera. We will check first how bright the light is, but it will not be really accurate because my video camera will compensate and it will show that it will be brighter than what it really is. It does okay, but I wish it could have been brighter. Now, let's see how the motion detection works. I'll be walking in front of the Arlo light around 10 feet from it. It works pretty good, just like any other motion activated light out there. Now let's see the difference on the footage of the Arlo Pro 2 without the light and with the light on. With the light on, it is much clearer. And by the way, this is a $150 light. The Arlo Pro 2's night vision is pretty good. But if the difference by adding $150 to the video quality is this, I'll probably pass. What if the video footage would look like this? This one is with my 1500 lumen floodlight on, which turned off my Arlo Pro 2's night vision, and it is in full color. This is what I expected this $150 light will do, but it didn't. Lastly, I will show you a glimpse of the Reolink Argos 2, which I'll be comparing with the Arlo Pro 2 on my next video. I set the Argos to color mode and with the Arlo light on. What do you guys think? Is the Arlo security light worth it? Well, there are way cheaper battery powered and motion activated lights out there. It does help with the black and white night vision quality, but it should be better if the footage is in color. So comment down below what you all think. Reolink should release their own battery-powered security lights because the Argos footage looked pretty good with the 400 lumen Arlo light. Anyways, that's it guys and thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. To get product reviews like this video, comparison videos, product updates, and long-term reviews. Also guys, I'm running a security camera giveaway for Father's Day next month. Don't forget to check it out. I will include the link in the description down below. Thank you.